How's it going guys? We're headed to Winter Gardens. They are having their last day of their fall garden plant sale. And so we're headed there. We're gonna go see what we can find. You guys saw I got a brand new sweatshirt from them, one of my favorite places. And the back of the sweater is actually really cute. But we're gonna head up there right now and do some shopping. I think a lot of things are like 40% off right now. So we're gonna go see what we can find. I already know kind of like the vibe and things that I'm looking for for next year. So uh, hopefully they have some stuff left still. This was like a week long sale and I totally spaced it until last night at like 10 o'clock last night. And I was like, hey, uh, let's let's go up to Wintour Gardens because they're having a sale. So let's go. Okay, we're at Wintour. I had to stop and get coffee. Ignore the permadirt under my nails, but we're gonna go see what we can find now. I've had my eye on some uh, hydrangeas a butterfly bush and I think I don't know we'll see what else <laughs> let's go so I saw some things from Monrovia over here and so oh wait look at literally talked about wanting to get some Oblast 55 dollars oh I also love this little patio bistro set let's not get too distracted let's go look at the Monrovia that I saw seeing all these trees that they have Fat Albert. I don't have room for a Fat Albert. They get so big, like 15 feet. Do I do like this? Is it a weeping Norway spruce? Oh my gosh, I was literally looking this up just the other night. That is so funny. So my home was zones four through seven, but it gets six to eight feet tall and two feet wide in 10 years. And I had seen one that was about 20 years old and it was from uh, Isles Nursery or something like that. And theirs was like 15 feet, 20 feet tall. And it was so pretty and I would have room for this, but that's kind of a big price point to put on something that may or may not make it. But I really, really want this tree. So it's four through seven. Oh, I'm gonna have to think about that one because that would be such a pretty tree. And especially the size that it gets is like so perfect. I'm gonna have to come back to this one. $312. Okay, let's go look at the hydrangeas. Look at all the spruces that they have. Oh, look, they have a... Is this a weeping one? The blues. And this guy is big too. Six feet tall, six feet wide. That's not bad at all. Growing zones? Oh, huh, doesn't say. 318, but this is really pretty, but Brent really doesn't like, um, oh, six, five to six feet tall zones, two through eight. Brent doesn't like the blue foliage of a lot of plants. These are also like very spiky. So we'll see. Okay, this is the hydrangeas. So much stuff is already cleared out. Firelights. I think limelights are on the other side. Oh, look, here's a couple smaller limelights. It is always so funny to be buying plants when they look like <laughs> just bare sticks. Um, $22, $23. And the big ones are $44. There are some limelights. I see them. I'm gonna go see how those ones look. Oh, wait, but here's the topiary, 140. Who is she? This is Firelight, Quick Fire. 140. No. Why? No. I want this. <laughs> yes or no? No. No? Where? Where would it go? You're being dramatic. <laughs> sad to see them this time of year. <laughs> I know, it's so sad seeing them when they look like this. They have all of their onions out, and so I think I'm going to grab some of these um, and grow onions this year. I'm going to do the Walla Wallas, because I've seen people have really good success, but 50 onions for $7.99, so I think I'm going to probably get one of these, and I'll grow 25, and I'm probably going to take some of these down to Jamie's house. I think, of course, I'm going to grab some more pansies. I think I'm gonna do um, some red and white ones of these and fill up the front containers that we just cleaned out. So maybe pack, probably two packs of these guys and then maybe some of these kind of red ones. Probably only need a pack of each. These are the Majestic Giants Red Watched. We're gonna grab the Delta Premium Pure White. Just a little six pack of those. They have so much stuff here. Look at these plant stands. 
I might need to grab one of these. It's not on sale, but it's 155 and I don't think that's a bad price. I'm gonna grab one of those also before we head out. Don't let me forget. The last time I was here, it was by Monrovia and it was in a terracotta pot and it was sitting right over here and it was the bay tree. Is this it? This is it. This is the one I want. This is um, Tabletop Topiary. It's 47. I am gonna grab it. It is the Little Ragu Sweet Bay. Tabletop Topiary, $48. And it actually comes in perfect terracotta pot. I think it says Monrovia on it somewhere. Oh yeah, look. Right there it says Monrovia. And I just, I think that's so sweet. And you guys know I love a good topiary. So we are gonna grab this guy. They have about a million lavenders. Oh, they're so pretty, and you guys can see, look, there's a bee on that one. I just love lavender. They've got two different kinds. What is it? The French and the Spanish. Spanish lavender. English lavender. I really, really like the Spanish lavender, though. I love how purple that one is, or pink it is. Okay, let's go back and see if I can find the other plants that I want to grab. Look at all the veggies. I might I might need to just grab some veggies. <sighs> you guys saw how bad ours looked. I'm so heartbroken. <laughs> um, little gem. I might do a little gem lettuce. You guys, this place just goes on. Ooh, what is this? It's variegated. I love a good variegated plant. My Monet purple effect. Let's see, size. Oh, one and a half to two feet tall wide, but it zones four through six. Oh, but it's really pretty. And it's 42. I like the variegation on it. But, you know, I talk about zones not really meaning anything to me because it really doesn't for California. We go a lot by sunset zone. Not so much by um, the actual USDA zones. The rose section is like almost empty and they had a ton of David Austins this year, but they're pretty, they're gone. Not even pretty much gone, they're basically gone. I see like three over there. And citrus, so this is the whole tree section and it goes way, way back here. I love this place, it's so massive. Um, so we're just gonna keep wandering around, see if we can find anything. I am seeing some birch trees, which I love birch trees a lot. Okay, so look, so it says, so what I love about this brand, the uh, Dave Wilson Nursery, is that they put sunset zones on their plants, and so I'm a sunset zone nine. And so this is for sunset zones one through 11 and 14 through 24. So I can grow the European white birch, 30, 40 feet tall. Um, and it doesn't get very wide, but it's got these like really nice like weeping branches. And usually what I do on the birches that we do have, I trim all of these up to kind of like a decent height because I want to be able to like walk around it. So I love birch trees so much. I just think they're so pretty. And the like pretty yellow fall color that they get, it's my favorite. I might look into grabbing one more of these for the front yard. They have some massive, massive magnolia trees right here. And this one has a bloom that's like spent but look it's 300 bucks 40 percent off oh if i had the space <sighs> this is so pretty 10 feet by 20 feet i love magnolias and i love this like purple color and to be able to see one of the blooms so pretty look at this golden rain tree is this not like the most beautiful fall color it is like true gold oh my gosh if i had the space if i had all the space in the world 30 feet tall 30 feet wide sunset zones 2 through 21 so i don't know the usda zones but so so beautiful i want something that's that yellow color that glows especially right here look at i could have a red a green and a yellow the ginkgo will turn yellow Let's see they'll turn yellow they're just taking a little bit longer but that literally caught my eye from like across the way. It is so pretty. Not too long ago, I talked about this shrub right here. And you guys, ah, I think I need it. This, obviously they've had this one for a minute 
is this not so beautiful? This is the Winterberry Holly Berry Poppins. I mean, you guys can see the tag is a little bit faded, but I want this shrub so badly, but I need to find a Mr. Poppins to go along with it. I mean, is that not so pretty? The fall color of the leaves. I mean, I would love to have a, you know, shrub that has that bright yellow leaves. I just talked about that tree, the golden rain tree, and then the red of these berries. Um, I'm gonna see if they have a Mr. Poppins also. All right, well, I think we did pretty good. I actually got three things that I wasn't even expecting to get. So we did get some lettuce, or this is what we're gonna get. We haven't checked out yet, and we're still gonna get the plant stand. So I got lettuce, I got some pansies, um, I got this right here, which is a proud berry, which I talked about in a video not too long ago. And so we're really excited to try that. It's like 16 bucks. And then I also got the Mr. Poppins, which I need to get the Mr. Poppins in order to get the berries from the Berry Poppins. So, um, if I plant both of these, they're both going to get about four feet tall and wide. Do I know where they're going to go? Absolutely not. That's okay. But I think it'll be so worth it to have those beautiful berries to show in the garden next year. I mean, that is just so gorgeous. And then over here, we also got this bay tree, Little Ragu Sweet Bay. So we're gonna get this guy and these are bay leaves that will actually be able to cook. So this is perfect. So let's go get that plant stand and then get out of here. Okay, so $288 later. Um, this wasn't on sale, which I didn't realize, but I still ended up getting it because I've been wanting it and thinking about it for months now. And then also the pedestal isn't on sale. So that was like $150, I think, is what I paid for that. Um, and then I got all the other plants. Hold on, let me look at what the pedestal was so I can actually tell you guys. Okay. Pedestal. Um, yeah, 155, which I still think is totally worth it because it's a really, really pretty concrete piece. And um, I'm either going to put this on it or put the topiary that we have from Monrovia. So either way, it's gonna get a topiary on it. So pretty, and I could not be more excited about this. This has been something that's been kind of on my list of plants I wanted. And then the onions, I don't know where I'm gonna grow them. Uh, well, actually, I'm missing a whole bunch of lettuce, so I have room now to grow those. And some pansies, these are going to go in the front yard. And then some lettuce, just to replace a few of the ones that have been eaten. So, overall, I think it's a really good haul. Um, way more than I thought I was going to even spend, though. I was not expecting to spend $288. I was expecting to keep it, like, closer to, like, $150, like, $200 max. But, you know, sometimes things don't go as planned and that's all right we're just rolling with it so we're gonna get home now and i think all i'm gonna do today is put the plant stand up and figure out which plant i want to go on top of that plant stand and so i think it's gonna be really pretty so let's head home now actually brent and i are gonna go get lunch we're hungry i'm hangry <laughs> we're gonna go get food and then we'll be back home we had to pull over because this tree just caught my eye so much the pistache tree. Janie also has one of these. So beautiful. All right, we made it back home. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know where any of these are gonna go. I think I've already said that like 10 times, but that's okay. So um, I've been doing some research about onions because I'm planting them this winter time, which I never thought that you could plant onions in the winter time. And I'm so excited. My whole car kind of smells like onions right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, but I'm so excited about these onions. Um, like I said, I don't have room for 50 of them. Janie has room, so I'm probably gonna need to go back down there pretty soon. Um, also, I left my tripod for filming <laughs> down at her house anyways. I have two of them, but the one that I have here is broke, but um, my good tripod's down there, so this will be another excuse to have to go down to her house. 
Um, but I'm gonna unload this and I think the only thing I'm gonna set up for the rest of this video is the plant stand, which is right back there. And either the Monrovia topiary, the bay right there, or the other Monrovia topiary that we have. So um, either way, it's getting a topiary on that stand because it's really pretty. So let me unload everything and show you guys where that stand's gonna go. Okay, well I think that might be where it goes. This is a very expensive setup. $150 for the pedestal. The topiary boxwood right here. I cannot believe I paid this much, but I did. Um, it was $175. Probably the most I've ever spent on a plant in my entire life is $175. But it's a boxwood and it's a spiral topiary. And I did buy it for my birthday. So this was a birthday present to myself. Um, which, you know, you have to do that. So, bought this. I did burn it just a little bit. I had it leaning up against a fence, and, um, it wasn't getting any light, but it was, like, hot. So, a little crispy. But that's okay. And then, um, little pot. I thought I was gonna go with terracotta, but I think terracotta on top of the concrete would look really weird. So, I have this, like, ceramic pot that I did a, a little arrangement in. I think I actually did it in the arrangement that was sitting there, maybe? I can't remember. Anyways, I love this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pot it up and run drip directly to this. And I think that's where it's gonna go. It looks really good here. I'm gonna pot it up off of camera just to get it done. It's kinda, it's kinda late in the day and I think I'm ready to go inside and be done for the day. I'm gonna go make some bread again. We went through our loaf pretty much within like two days, it was gone. And um, I know my neighbors are out of bread. So I'm gonna pop this up off camera, but this is where it's gonna go as of right now. So yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy that we have to go shopping and got to go to that 40% off sale at Wintour Gardens. My new favorite sweatshirt, my favorite place to go. Um, it's really pretty and I love this plant stand. I've been wanting something just like that. That is like the exact thing that I had envisioned for this spot right here. So that is gonna be it for this video, guys. It's windy, a storm is, look, it's cloudy, a storm is coming. So I'm gonna go inside. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.